The British Science Association BSA is a charity and learned society founded in 1831 to aid in the promotion and development of science. Until 2009 it was known as the British Association for the Advancement of Science BA. The chief executive is Catherine Matheson. Topic: History Foundation The association was founded in 1831 and modelled on the German Gesellschaft Deutscher Naturforscher und Ärzte. The prime mover who is regarded as the main founder was Reverend William Vernon Harcourt, following a suggestion by Sir David Brewster, who was disillusioned with the elitist and conservative attitude of the Royal Society. Charles Babbage, William Wewell and J.F.W. Johnston are also considered to be founding members. The first meeting was held in York at the Yorkshire Museum on Tuesday 27 September 1831 with various scientific papers being presented on the following days. It was chaired by Viscount Milton, president of the Yorkshire Philosophical Society, and upwards of 300 gentlemen attended the meeting. The Preston Mercury recorded that those gathered consisted of persons of distinction from various parts of the kingdom, together with several of the gentry of Yorkshire and the members of philosopher societies in this country. The newspaper published the names of over a hundred of those attending and these included, amongst others, 18 clergymen, 11 doctors, 4 knights, 2 viscounts and 1 lord. From that date onwards a meeting was held annually at a place chosen at a previous meeting. In 1832, for example, the meeting was held in Oxford, chaired by Reverend Dr. William Buckland. By this stage the association had four sections, physics including mathematics and mechanical arts, chemistry including mineralogy and chemical arts, geology including geography and natural history. A very important decision in the association's history was made in 1842 when it was resolved to create a physical observatory. A building that became well known as the Kew Observatory was taken on for the purpose and Francis Ronalds was chosen as the inaugural honorary director. Kew Observatory quickly became one of the most renowned meteorological and geomagnetic observatories in the world. One of the most famous events linked to the association meeting was an exchange between Thomas Henry Huxley and Bishop Samuel Wilberforce in 1860. See the 1860 Oxford Evolution Debate. Although it is often described as a debate, the exchange occurred after the presentation of a paper by Professor Draper of New York, on the intellectual development of Europe with relation to Darwin's theory one of a number of scientific papers presented during the week and the subsequent discussion involved a number of other participants although Wilberforce and Huxley were the most prominent. Although a number of newspapers made passing references to the exchange, it was not until later that it was accorded greater significance in the evolution debate. Topic. Electrical standards One of the most important contributions of the British Association was the establishment of standards for electrical usage, the ohm as the unit of electrical resistance, the volt as the unit of electrical potential, and the ampere as the unit of electrical current. A need for standards arose with the submarine telegraph industry. Practitioners came to use their own standards established by wire coils. By the late 1850s, Clark, Varley, Bright, Smith and other leading British cable engineers were using calibrated resistance coils on a regular basis and were beginning to use calibrated condensers as well. The undertaking was suggested to the BA by William Thomson, and its success was due to the use of Thomson's mirror galvanometer. Josiah Latimer Clark and Fleming Jenkin made preparations. Thomson, with his students, found that impure copper, contaminated with arsenic, introduced significant extra resistance. The chemist Augustus Matheson contributed an appendix a to the final 1873 report that showed temperature dependence of alloys. The natural relation between these units are clearly, that a unit of electromotive force between two points of a conductor separated by a unit of resistance shall produce unit current, and that this current in a unit of time convey a unit quantity of electricity. The unit system was absolute, since it agreed with previously accepted units of work, or energy. 
the unit current of electricity, in passing through a conductor of unit resistance, does a unit of work or its equivalent in a unit of time. Topic. Other The association introduced the British Association usually termed BA screw threads, a series of screw thread standards in sizes from 0.25 mm 25 BA up to 6 mm OBA in 1884. The standards were ahead of their time in that they were based on the metric system, although they had to be redefined in imperial terms for use by UK industry. They remained in general use for instruments and small assemblies until metrication in the 1970s. A decision that became notorious in the 20th century was made in 1878 when a committee of the association recommended against constructing Charles Babbage's analytical engine. The association was parodied by English novelist Charles Dickens as the Mudfog Society for the Advancement of Everything in the Mudfog Papers 1837-38. Topic. Perception of science in the UK The association's main aim is to improve the perception of science and scientists in the UK. Membership is open to all. Professor Sir George Porter, on becoming president in September 1985, was scathing against so-called soft sciences such as psychology, and even economics both part of the association. He claimed that academics in these areas were far too eager to try to put unsubstantiated assertions into practice on the public and that undergraduates were often taught unsubstantiated assertions, as if they had been established by rigorous scientific method. He claimed this was damaging the public perception of science. The following September he said that the general level of scientific understanding in Britain was lamentably low, with many senior politicians, religious leaders and controllers of the media scientifically uneducated. He said of Britain's education system that although it provides the finest education anywhere for the young man or woman who wants to be an academic scientist, it leaves the majority ignorant of the scientific world where they will live and work and it was the duty of scientists to drag kicking and screaming into the 21st century those who have no taste for the subject. On science education in schools he said of all the many crises in education and science, perhaps the most serious is the disappearing species of the good teacher of physics, mathematics and to a lesser extent the other sciences and that if it is allowed to go much further, there will be no recovery for generations, comparing it to China's cultural revolution which he said produced a lost generation. Sir Kenneth Durham, former director of research at Unilever, on becoming president in August 1987 followed on from Sir George Porter saying that science teachers needed extra pay to overcome the scarcity of mathematics and physics teachers in secondary schools, and that unless we deal with this as matter of urgency, the outlook for our manufacturing future is bleak. He regretted that headmasters and careers masters had for many years followed the cult of Oxbridge because it carried more prestige to read classics at Oxbridge and go into the civil service or banking, than to read engineering at, say, Salford, and go into manufacturing industry. He said that reporting of sciences gave good coverage to medical science, but that nevertheless, editors ought to be sensitive to developments in areas such as solid-state physics, astrophysics, colloid science, molecular biology, transmission of stimuli along nerve fibers, and so on, and that newspaper editors were in danger of waiting for disasters before the scientific factors involved in the incidents were explained. In September 2001 Sir William Stewart, as outgoing president, warned that universities faced dumbing down and that we can deliver social inclusiveness, and the best universities, but not both from a limited amount of money. We run the risk of doing neither well. Universities are underfunded, and must not be seen simply as a substitute for national service to keep youngsters off the dole queue. He also said scientists have to be careful and consider the full implications of what they are seeking to achieve. The problem with some clever people is that they find cleverer ways of being stupid. In September 2003 Sir Peter Williams, the outgoing president, said that the world was facing a shortage of scientists because too many young people dropped the subject at an early age. Topic. British Science Festival 
The association's major emphasis in recent decades has been on public engagement in science. Its annual meeting, now called the British Science Festival, is the largest public showcase for science in the UK and attracts a great deal of media attention. It is held at UK universities in early September for one week, with visits to science-related local cultural attractions. The 2010 festival, held in Birmingham with Aston University as lead university partner, featured a prank event, the unveiling of Dulce Fetidus, a fictional plant purported to emit a pungent odour. An experiment in herd mentality, some audience members were induced into believing they could smell it. The festival also hosts the X Change a lively informal roundup of the day's events where festival goers can ask questions, debate and hear star speakers. The festival has also been the home to protest and debate. In 1970 there were protesters over the use of science for weapons. Topic. Science Communication Conference The association organized and held the annual Science Communication Conference for over 10 years. It was the largest conference of its kind in the UK, and addressed the key issues facing science communicators. In 2015, the BSA introduced a new series of smaller events for science communicators, designed to address the same issues as the Science Communication Conference but for a more targeted audience. Topic British Science Week In addition to the British Science Festival, the British Science Association organises the British Science Week formerly National Science and Engineering Week, an opportunity for people of all ages to get involved in science, engineering, technology and maths activities, originating as the National Week of Science, Engineering and Technology. The association also has a Young People's Programme, the Crest Awards which seeks to involve school students in science beyond the school curriculum, and to encourage them to consider higher education and careers in science. Topic. Patrons and Presidents of the British Science Association Traditionally the President is elected at the meeting usually held in August-September for a one-year term and gives a presidential address upon retiring. The honor of the presidency is traditionally bestowed only once per individual. Written sources that give the year of presidency as a single year generally mean the year in which the presidential address is given. In 1926-1927 the association's patron was King George V and the president was his son Edward, Prince of Wales. The vice presidents for the Leeds meeting at this time included City of Leeds Alderman Charles Lupton and his brother, the R.T. Hun, the Lord Mayor of Leeds Hugh Lupton. The husband of the brother's first cousin once removed, Lord Airedale of Gledhow, was also a vice president at the Leeds meeting. 2011 Professor Dame Jocelyn Bell Burnell FRS, FRSE 2012 John Krebs, Baron Krebs FRS 2013 Lisa Jardine CBE, Historian 2014 Sir Paul Nurse FRS, President from 2010-15 of the Royal Society, and joint winner of the 2001 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for work on cell cycle division. 2015 Dame Athene Donald FRS, Physicist and Master since 2014 of Churchill College, Cambridge. 2016 Dame Nancy Rothwell DBE DL FRS F Medshi FBPHS, Physiologist and President and Vice Chancellor of the University of Manchester. 2017 Dame UTA Frith FRS, Developmental Psychologist. 2018 Professor Jim Al Khalili FRS, Physicist and Broadcaster. Topic. List of annual meetings 1831 First Meeting York, England 1832 Second Meeting Oxford, England 2013 174th Meeting Newcastle upon Tyne, England 2014 175th Meeting Birmingham, England 2015 176th Meeting Bradford, England 2016 177th Meeting Swansea, Wales 
2017 178th meeting Brighton England 2018 179th meeting Hull England topic structure The organization is administered from the Welcome Wolfson Building at the Science Museum, London in South Kensington in Kensington and Chelsea, within a few feet of the northern boundary with the city of Westminster in which most of the neighbouring Imperial College London is resident. Topic. See also 1860 Oxford Evolution Debate American Association for the Advancement of Science Association of British Science Writers Café Scientifique Glossary of Astronomy Glossary of Biology Glossary of Chemistry Glossary of Engineering Glossary of Physics Guildhall Lectures National Science Week Royal Institution Royal Society Scandinavian Scientist Conference 1839 to 1936 Science Abstracts Science Festival